The Uganda news starts is now for 3.24 p2 patch just last night. Is this the release candidate? Let's find out. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Carter Nords parts, but all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. So we've gotten a new patch just last night and um, they made a few changes with this one um, along with a few bug fixes. Um, under features and gameplay under the location category, they removed the 32SU container as the cargo container option from outposts so you can go up to only 24. under gameplay they uh, did some more balancing on the tractor beam it says here the multi-tool uh, tractor beam has been restricted further to cargo masses less than 24 so you can do up to 16 i believe um, based on the wording of this it says rotation force on the dedicated tractor beam has been increased for better rotation control so now um some of my org mates have mentioned that they noticed that the 32 SCU containers were, uh, you couldn't rotate them even with the dedicated tractor beam. So hopefully this fix or adjustment here uh, will address that issue because at least it should be able to be rotated by the dedicated tractor beam. All right, so now there's a few bug fixes that this one go comes with. They fixed the issue where um, it says the unclaimed cargo weighting transfer is displayed despite already uh, loading all of the cargo. So I had experienced this throughout this entire patch cycle. It was really annoying. I'm glad that they fixed that. Um, they fixed an issue where when docking or retrieving a ship to a docking port at a station, the docking arm will not extend. They fixed an issue where crew L5 Beautiful Glen Station ATC is missing. They fixed an issue where medical um, elevator panel inside the hangars are missing geometry. They fixed an issue where moving cargo from the warehouse to elevator and back in the freight manager causes the cargo to be lost. Along with this, is two server crashes and a hybrid server crash fix. So um, I took some time to check out the patch last night and it wasn't too bad it was pretty smooth i went out and uh before i got i went out to do the dynamic event which is the uh, blockade runner um it was pretty smooth i didn't see any issues and um but when i got there uh combat was okay retrieving the cargo from the um ships that i destroyed was okay um, but when I arrived at the space station, this time around it was at Everest Station. When I arrived there, um, there was some frame drops at the station as well as uh, the station ATC was very, very unresponsive. It took a long time. I mean, the uh, pirates almost destroyed my ship before they gave me a hangar to land in and actually deliver the cargo. So I think there was some a little bit of a delay on the server side. I guess this is what happens when dynamic events are happening, when there's a lot of activity happening, right? So that's kind of expected. Um, yeah, but aside from that, I think it's pretty good. Is this going to be the release candidate? I don't know. Um, they might do maybe one or two more uh, this week. Hopefully they'll go live by Thursday or Friday. So now before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.